Zoltan Husarik was born on the 14th of May 1931 and passed away on October 15th, 1981. One of a number of Hungarian visionary film directors whom I enviously admire, Husarik came to my attention as his 1971 feature Zinbad was receiving many contemporary appraisals. If you can view these screen caps, you will understand why this was. But what is Zinbad about then? Zinbad is what we might consider an inventive, ethereal adaptation of Hungarian author Gaia Lakruti's short stories. The title refers to its protagonist, the eponymous traveller, also a shameless womanizing snob. We are presented with vivid illustrations, some of them extremely dreamlike and vaguely expressionistic, of our subject's memories as they arrive to him. It reminds me, now as I type this, of Bergman's Wild Strawberries, although Zinbad more feels well, less like a warming familial odyssey, and more, dare I say, a cruel reckoning. I dare there, because this film conjures in me nothing but feelings of adoration and beauty, not alike I was watching the 1971 equivalent of a contemporary large-scale David Attenborough production. I feel as though this film experiment, in symbiosis with its fictitious subject, is attempting to locate the precise essence that fuels his passion, hope and excitement for existence. At the end of his days, the romantic impulse returns to reflect, what are all the things I neglected? What will I deserve to regret before I die? Juxtaposing the memories of his female companions of typically floral imagery, buds blossoming, petals blooming, one suspects its protagonist was the kind of bourgeois boar who only appreciated fauna as decorations within a garden, and not as miraculous life in and of itself. Worse, and more interestingly worse, he perceives women via an analogous praxis. Now, life flashing before his eyes, he has the privilege, as we do, of witnessing the montage of framed, captured beauty, compiled, magnified, and animated, a contained sequence of love and creation which articulates the sublimity of growth, the splendor of the progress, as opposed to selfish attempts to extract the temporal pleasures of this ungraspable present. Rather narratively simplistic, although illustrating a highly complex emotional malaise, Zinbad is one of the finest justifications for cinema I have ever seen. How much literature is out there, or could one imagine being potentially written to a degree of artistic success as this film, within the context of literature specifically? Countless. To have the taste and precision of Husarik's film, this is a tremendous, unique event. Truly, we must reach a point where we read enough reflecting on my life literature, wherein one can only be so impressed by the observations of this or that author. But this film, as a successful realisation of artistic technology, whose intended affect and function is the evocation of aesthetic euphoria and poetic contemplations, this is far more interesting and impressive than the still-dead medium of print.